Uh, how do you deal with the team members um, who are up to your expectations according to it's your not, yeah, who are not, not um, who are not up, um, up to your expectations um, according to your managerial skills? So uh, just to repeat um, that thought, how do you deal with the team members who able to yeah, kind of an underperformer or who are, you know, they're your team members. They're unable to meet the expectations of the manager and, you know, what you want to see them go in what direction. How do you um, deal with them? Yeah, that's a great question, right? So as a, and a you have, um, you cannot be a leader and not encounter a situation like that, right? It's because we live in a, in a, in a real world and definitely that's a very really common scenario where you have someone who's not performing uh, not as expected or maybe performing not up to the full but are two different things one is yes he is performing great but i know that he is capable of performing way better right so even that individual is actually underperforming right if you think about it does that make sense it does so you see, you, you, uh, what we find a lot of times is like, you know, again, obviously I cannot bring up my actual uh, uh, things that we encountered. Uh, you have a lot of talent in the team uh, and, but you can, you can see them doing way better, but they're not doing it. And, and some of it is, as a leader is you have to find the reason. What is the driving factor? for him or her? Is it maybe the work is not challenging enough? Is it there is not enough motivation for growth? Is it because they find it useless? They, hey, I, I know I'm doing well, but I could do even better, but I don't find any motivation for it. I don't have any reason for that, so what? What am I gonna get out of it, right? That is, so identifying that would be the main 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 key key point, like, what is it that is hindering, stopping this individual for, for, from performing better than what he's doing now or she's doing now, he or she? So it can vary from individual to individual. It can also get to a point where, hey, this is simply not the right fit. Again, I know, again unfortunately, that is also uh, one of the realities that we encounter. Maybe this team is not a right fit for you. Maybe this project is not a right fit for you. So what you have to see is what are the things that actually, you know, understand, is there something going on in the personal life? So as a leader is one of the things that we have a moral obligation and we, are, you know, we kind of you know, celebrate that or include that as part of our leadership style is to understand an individual personally to a point that he, he or she is comfortable to, to understand what's going on in personal life. Maybe there is a, you know, there is a, the individual is going through a hard time right now and it's just a matter of time, right? So again, be authentic, understand this person and look at it from a human perspective, understand his mind and see what he or she is looking for it would be the key to see, you know, where it could be the opportunity to improve on. I had actually an associate who say I, I hate working in, in Java project. It, it's just like, even a he at a, an extremely technology level, hey man, I don't want to work on this. I don't like it. Okay, fine. Uh, what are the things you like? What project do you like? And you put a different project and it shines, right? So, but you have, to, as a lady, I have to make that connection with my, with my, with my individual, with my associate where he or she is comfortable enough to share with me his in, in, from his heart, what's going on, right? And then you kind of find the reason. Now, there, again, there, there are a wide spectrum of minds that, that you, we have, you may have to deal with. Uh, there could be people, as I said, simply not right fit. And as a man, uh, you sometimes you have to make the decision. How you make the decision makes you who you are. So when you make that call, you have to know when you make the call, right? So, 
Yep. So that so would what? be defined by your surroundings, your environment, your situations, your what you what you can you, what your organization can tolerate, what is the toleration level, what they cannot tolerate, how much budget there are a wide spectrum of things that would define that. Oh, yeah, you I think you did very you share. Thank you so much. Yes. So in share the it goes many, many, many ways. Can you hear me? So yeah. it, it goes many ways. He mentioned like a, um, know the expectation and the, know the challenges of the remember he keeps saying you have to grow the relationship personally. Again, you go back to the human fundamental things. That's the how the, the modern manager of the leadership you have go, what is the problem here? What is the challenge going on, right? Everyone has a potential because human can do so much, right? End of the day, uh, if you are not connecting them, the personal level, the what they can do, if once once you connect them personally, you will know them actually, what is the intention going on? Are they really intending to grow? Are they really happy what they're doing? So that you can actually make a conclusion whether you should push or not. You can uh, make a conclusion there. So instead of like a, going through the book version, all this, it is not going to work dealing with the people. You have to go with the connectivity from the people to people and the find out the actual cause. But thank you.